Hey everyone, Paul at Affinity Harmonics, and today we're going to learn how to install the SK50D on your PC or Mac right from the download link you purchased from our website. Let's get it on! Alright, so we have an open, fresh version of Contact here, um, and we're going to navigate to our downloads folder. We're going to extract our files. All right, now that that's done, we have the instruments, multis, snapshots, and a quick readme. Um, we're gonna wanna move this entire file to wherever you store your other contact instruments. If this is your first contact instrument, we recommend storing it somewhere safe, preferably on a solid state drive, and keep them all together so you know where your instruments are. Um, for this purpose, we're going to just install it to our desktop. Um, so for now, let's create a folder and we'll call it contact libraries. And we're going to paste the Affinity SK50D plugin to that folder. Great. Now that this is done, we're going to launch contact again and we're going to hit load. All right, so we're gonna navigate to the directory in which we installed the contact plugin. In this instant, it's actually on our desktop. And there we see the instruments folder. We're gonna click that. Let's start with the base plugin. We're gonna click the NKI file. Excellent, it loaded right away. Now, in the rare chance that contact complains at you, for example, in this case, ah, it's saying, ah, we can't find the base samples. Where, where do we look? So we're going to address this by locating the actual samples in the sample installation directory. So for us, that is on our desktop in our contact library folder, SK50D instruments and base, base samples. We're just going to click that, press OK, and it looks like it loaded fine. So next up, let's install the presets. So let's navigate back to our directory in which we installed the plugin. And now we're going to go to our snapshot directory. This is all the presets in which we can use to load into each corresponding patch. So all of these presets go to the same directory. On a PC, we're going to navigate to our documents, a native instrument, user, and then contact folder. And as you can see, we already installed them, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these presets, press copy, and paste them here. And that's it. That's all you need to do to install the presets. Now, when we hover over to our base patch and we go to the snapshot icon in the right hand corner, we can load each of the presets that we just installed. All right, up next, let's load up one of the multi-patches. Okay, so we're gonna hover over to the top right corner and select load. Then we're gonna navigate to where we installed the initial directory and hover over this time to the multis. All right, so we have a bunch of different options here. The way we designed it is because the instrument was initially a two keyboard organ, um, we have a couple of the multis set up to use two keyboards. But of course, most of us are on a one keyboard setup here, especially us here in the studio. So you have those options as well. We created these for the most popular configurations from the original instrument, such as the lower half of the instrument, the upper half, or just everything combined. Um, we're gonna load the everything combined patch. And this one in particular has the solo synthesizer layered with the bass synth. All right, so it's loaded up correctly. Um, so let's try it out. glance of what presets I'm using and not too shabby I would say. So if you haven't picked up a copy you know where to get it affinityharmonics.com the 15% off discount in the description below if you join our awesome email list. All right that's it for this one uh, we'll see you in the next video.